What's up and welcome guys, I'm Luke Martin with ChopstickTravel.com and today is day two of our series here in Chongqing, China. So right now we are in this crazy hectic vegetable market just checking it out on our way to a restaurant this morning and we are going to have a whole day of eating and a little bit of sightseeing so I'm really excited so let's go. Okay, so we're actually just going to stop here on our way to the place that we're gonna have breakfast because we saw something that looks really interesting that I've never tried before. It's sort of like a sesame ball. So she's cooking up in a lot of oil, so it's probably gonna be a little bit greasy, but I do wanna try it because it seems like a popular spot, so we're gonna order one up. So we've ordered up our sesame ball, and I asked her what it was called. She said it was called ma yue, or something like that. So if you guys know what that means, let me know in the comment box. I don't know if it's stuff with anything and it's really really hot and just coated with sesame seeds but it was pretty popular they were selling out so let's just take a big bite and try this oh. Mm. Oh. I think it's mochi I think it's deep fried mochi it's really really gooey sticky here let me kind of rip it open for you can you see that it's got like really really sticky kind of mochi so I think that's pounded rice cake coated in sesame seeds and then deep-fried oh yeah it is actually that's that's really good it's a little bit sweet and has a really strong sesame flavor I like that mm. wow that surprised me a lot I did not expect that to be mochi I definitely thought it was gonna be batter so we are slowly making our way through this market it seems particularly busy today if you didn't watch yesterday's episode make sure to check that out uh, I'll put a link in the description box and uh, yeah you can go see yesterday we walked through the same market and we did a little bit of snacking here too so we've got what we came for and as I mentioned this is one of if not the most iconic Chongqing food this is a xiaomian which is small noodles the translation this one specifically is wa zai mian which is these yellow pea noodles so we just waited in a crazy crazy busy line for this but man it was worth it check this out so there is yellow peas some minced uh, braised pork and then these noodles and then underneath there is where all the magic's going on there is a ton of chili oil i also saw her put some szechuan peppercorns in and a little bit of vegetables you put some salt some msg uh, and some pickles so let's just stir this guy around because that's definitely what needs to happen oh man check that out oh yeah okay we're gonna have to give these a good mixing those peas look super soft already and I haven't even tried them yet so got to get this completely coated in that chili oil we are sitting street side here really cool spot oh man this looks really really good and i can smell the szechuan peppercorn she kind of put ground szechuan peppercorn in there tons of chili oil maybe two or three different kinds of chili actually and just check out all that meat under there oh that is beautiful that is a beautiful bowl of noodles okay we are all mixed up and guys my mouth is watering so bad i can smell those szechuan peppercorns so this spot we just walked by yesterday and there was a huge line just like there is today so we thought that this would be a good place to try the famous xiaomian so let's try these out mm. 
Oh man, that is so good. Instantly, your mouth is just tingling from those Szechuan peppercorns. That that ground pork in there has like a really, really braised kind of like star anise, Chinese spices flavor, but super, super tender. And then those noodles are also just have an amazing kind of mouth feel to them. That is, uh, I'd probably say that's like a six or seven out of 10 on the spicy scale. But man, that is really, really good. These noodles are super mouthwatering. I don't know if I got any peas in that one, but I think there's some in this bite. So let's try another bite. Mm. Mm. Guys, this is an amazing bowl of noodles. Like really, really like world-class noodles here. And this is super sloppy. You gotta be careful not to get it all over yourself. But man, those peas in there too are just ridiculously soft. Kind of just turn to mush in your mouth, but in a, in a good way. And my mouth is so tingling from those Szechuan peppercorns. Oh, these are to die for noodles. Okay, just finish off with our first Chongqing Xiaomian experience. Those noodles were absolutely beautiful. So delicious. My mouth is completely numb right now. But that was a lot of fun. We're gonna go walk around and see if we can find anything else to eat, but uh, we wanted to check out a place here in uh, Chongqing where we can fly our drone and hopefully get some pretty cool views. So maybe we'll go there right now. So Sabrina and I just jumped in a taxi and we are heading to a place here in Chongqing called the People's Assembly Hall. It's this really big, beautiful building from the pictures that I've seen. Hopefully we'll be able to get the drone up in the air and show you guys an aerial view as well. So we've made it to the People's Assembly Hall here in Chongqing. This is a really famous landmark here in the city. It was built in 1954 and yeah, it's just beautiful. It's got this massive roof with this kind of big golden uh, ball on top of it. Finished off with our time here at the People's Assembly Hall. That was a lot of fun and hopefully those drone shots turned out well. Really cool place. It's a popular tourist attraction, but it also just seems to be like the local hangout. Everyone's doing all kinds of things, flying kites, walking their dog, going rollerblading. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And now we picked out a spot to have lunch and I'm hoping we're gonna have some really authentic Chongqing food. So let's go there right now. <laughs> Okay guys, we are at our next location today for some lunch and we are at like the definition of local restaurant. This is a typical Chongqing fly restaurant and it's sort of a help yourself kind of place. There's a lot of these small dishes, like hundreds and hundreds of tiny plates and they're all filled with delicious looking Sichuan Chongqing style food. And we are on the second level of this restaurant. So there's a downstairs and then the upstairs and both downstairs and upstairs are absolutely packed with locals. So this looks like a really good spot. I'm excited to try it out. So let me show you all the different dishes we've got here. So over here we've got a braised tofu, kind of shredded and then just doused in chili oil. That looks really good and I can smell it, it's super fragrant. Over here, I think this this is radish, I'm not exactly sure. It looks like there's some ginger in there, ginger or garlic, and then some chili, obviously, as well. And then over here, I believe this is a pig's ear, also with garlic or, or uh, ginger probably garlic and then some cilantro, some green onions, and then there's some chili underneath there too. That looks really good. And then this uh, is the most popular dish it seems here. Everyone's eating this. This is the seaweed or the kelp soup with uh, pork ribs. So this all looks really good. That looks amazing. This is such a cool location. I'm really excited to dig into this. Okay, let's try out this uh, shredded tofu here. Looks really good. Completely smothered in chili oil. Not too spicy. It has a really nice, firm, firm texture. And there's a little bit of that 
kind of Chinese spy spice going on in there from being braised. Mm. Okay, next up is this. I don't, I'm not exactly sure. If you guys know, let me know, but I think it's radish. And there is a lot of chili going on there. That's gonna be a spicy bite. All right, let's try that. Mm. Mm. I think that's radish. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's a little bit salty. It tastes nice with the cilantro, and it actually wasn't as spicy as I thought it would be. Next up is the pig's ear with, I think it's ginger. We'll get a couple pieces here. Try it out. Mm. That's a lot of garlic. Not ginger, garlic. And that actually has a really nice texture. It's kind of bouncy, chewy, but not like slimy at all. It's very firm. Actually, that, that's pretty good for pig's ear. Next up is the soup, and there are some big chunks of ribs in there, lots of seaweed, and man, that just has a really milky consistency. I'm guessing it, it was a bone broth, and I saw in the back kitchen there a massive kind of cauldron uh, boiling away this soup. So let's try it with some of the kelp. Mm. Mm. Oh. That's really nice. It almost has like a bonito flavor to it. It's a little bit fishy, almost a little bit smoky. And then that seaweed is nice and tender. It just breaks apart in your mouth. Let's try one of the ribs. Actually, that's got a lot of meat on it for a tiny rib. Mm. Oh, check that out. Oh, <laughs> got all the meat off that bone. Mm. There was a little bit of cartilage in that bite, but other than that, pretty tender. It's really soaked up the flavor. Okay, so we just finished off with our meal. That was really cool, and they kind of let us come back into the kitchen do a little bit of filming, and I thought what I saw was the big uh, cauldron of soup, but I was wrong. It's actually a massive pot of dough bar. That is gonna be the biggest pot of silken tofu I've ever seen. Unfortunately, we didn't order any, we're pretty full, so maybe we'll have to come back next time. But then also, they've got all their dishes just steaming away right here. This is really such a local spot. It's super cool to be inside the kitchen. So we are just back at our Airbnb taking a little break after lunch today and we are going tonight to have something called Chuan Chuan, another very famous Chongqing dish. So let me show you what that is. Okay, we are at the Chuan Chuan place and as you can see there's just so many of these sticks. So these sticks are skewered with all kinds of different vegetables, all kinds of different meats and you just take a ton of these and then we are going to dip them into a super spicy hot pot and that is Chuan Chuan. So let's pick some of these. Okay, we're gonna get some of these lotus roots. Some mushrooms. Take a handful of those. Maybe some more mushrooms. Oh yeah. What do we got here? Some of these lettuce. Pumpkin. More pumpkins. And what is this? I don't know. Let's try it. Heart? Oh, I don't know, but that looks really good. Yeah, Let's get good. some of those. And then this is all the super spicy chicken meat down here. Check that out. It's all just coated in, in chili. So I think this is chicken skin over here. Get a couple of these. And a couple of those. And then this is some pork underneath here. I think these are aigu pork, uh, pork ribs. Grab some of these. And then grab some of this beef. Man, those look super spicy. And we'll get some tofu as well. So that should be everything. Man, this looks awesome. And we got a ton of sticks. Check that out. 
So we've got our hot pot here, it's bubbling away. As you can see, we've got a half spicy and half uh, not spicy kind, but man, those both look good, especially that spicy one. And next step of the chuan chuan process is to make our sauce. So she's giving me this oil, if I can open it. There, she's giving me this special oil and uh, the Chongqing specialty <laughs> includes a lot of oil. So that's the base of our sauce. Then we gotta go over to the sauce station over here. So we've got some green onions, cilantro, and garlic. A bunch of garlic in there. And then uh, some chilies, which looks super spicy, so I'm gonna go easy on these. Okay, that's okay. And then, not exactly sure what this is here, but she put a little bit in this, or she recommended we put a little bit in this. Some salt, I believe. And then, or maybe that's sugar, actually. And then some soy sauce. And that is the Chongqing specialty sauce. So our hot pot is just bubbling away. It's just about time to put our sticks in and it's pretty common here in Chongqing to get one side that's not spicy and one side that is spicy because uh, you're pretty brave if you're going for the straight on spice. There's so many um, Szechuan peppercorns floating around in there and massive chilies. So let's just take our sticks here and start throwing them in. Yeah. Okay, I believe it is time to dig into this Chuan Chuan and guys, I just can't get over how much Szechuan peppercorn and chili is just floating around in here. Well, I should say bubbling around in here and this is a fiery looking hot pot. So I'm just gonna go in blindly here and grab one at random, see what I get. So, oh, it looks like I'm not even really sure. It's just completely saturated. And I see a lot of other people actually taking it and putting it on their rice. So that's what I'll do here. Transfer that onto my rice. And put this one over here, I guess. Now let's try that. I think this is the pork rib. So let's give that a try. There should be a bone in the middle. Mmm. There's not much meat on that. But man, that is completely saturated with the flavor of that fiery broth. Let me tell you, that is spicy. That is more spicy than mouth numbing initially, anyway. I'd probably give that a 7 out of 10. Not as much meat as I kind of wish, but I think it's sort of shriveled up after you put it in there. But man, that is super, super spicy, but full of flavor. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna mix this sauce around. You guys saw us mix it up so you know everything that's in there, and it looks really oily, but apparently that's the Chongqing specialty. I'm gonna grab another skewer, and yeah, so you can see the meat is pretty small, but uh, it's really flavorful. It just shrivels up after cooking. So take that off the skewer, dunk it in the sauce, and let's try that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I think that was liver. I think that was chicken liver. It's actually really good. It's got a firm texture. That wasn't as spicy as the first bite I had. And now I'm starting to feel that mouth numbing tingliness of that Szechuan peppercorn. Really good though. Okay, we're working our way through this Chuan Chuan hot pot and we've been focusing our first attention on the spicy side. And let me tell you, that is building, building. Probably an eight now. So let's, let's take something from the not spicy side. Maybe I'll go for a lotus root. I love lotus root. It's an incredible ingredient. Let's try this. That broth is very subtle. It's nice though. It's almost creamy. And I love the texture of lotus root. It's like the in-between of a cucumber and a potato. It's not as crisp as a cucumber, but not as starchy as a potato. It's right in the middle. 
It's really a beautiful ingredient. That pot is obviously not spicy at all, but it really has a nice flavor, slightly salty, and it's nice to contrast that with the super spicy other side. Whew, guys, this is some super spicy hot pot, but we are loving it. Street side here in Chongqing, enjoying this Chuan Chuan hot pot. I think that's gonna be it for today's video. We are stuck. We had an amazing day today. I hope you guys have been enjoying this vlog style video. We wanna try out something new so that we can bring you more content, more regular content. So please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Oh, my mouth is tingling. I'm like, my mouth is watering right now because it's so numb from these Sichuan peppercorns. I'm having a hard time speaking. But also another thing I wanted to mention is that in May, Sabrina and I will be having a meetup in Taipei. So if you're in Taipei, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're interested in going. Uh, I'm going to post the specific date on my Instagram. So make sure to follow me on Instagram. The links are all down below too. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave us a thumbs up. Let us know everything you want down in the comment box and subscribe because we have a lot more videos coming. We are heading to Xi'an, China next. And we are super pumped. We are loving it here in China. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.